and welcome to today's edition of the News in Brief on Graphic Online. In the headlines, Finance Minister Kenoforiata urges Ghanaian youth to encourage their MPs to pass e-levy bill. Government expresses commitment to address legal aid challenges. Ghana Tertiary Education Commission appeals to UTAC to resume teaching while their leaders return to negotiate conditions of service. Chief Dare's police overclaimed there was a police escort with tragic explosive struck and traders selling on pavements within Kole Klote municipality to be cleared. And now the news in brief. Finance Minister Kenoforiata is asking the youth to encourage their MPs to pass the e-levy bill when it is resubmitted before Parliament on February 1. According to him, revenues to be realized from the e-levy will be used to resource the 10 billion youth start initiative which aims to create 1 million jobs in the next three years. Speaking to Graphic Online on the sidelines of the New Year School and Conference on Wednesday, January 26, Mr. Foyata added that it is very imperative that the e-levy is passed. His address was on the topic, Building a Sustainable Entrepreneurial State, Government's Policy for Harnessing Our Population Dividend. So it's really imperative that we pass um, the e-levy um, bill um, so that we'll resource the appropriation to enable us to do this. Uh, I think the indignity of um, our youth not working uh, is something that we have to confront and is going to um, get even more difficult um, going forward and therefore turning the nation into an entrepreneurial nation uh, becomes something that we can hide from. Um, so I'm expecting that the youth will encourage their parliamentarians uh, to pass it and then we should be able to move forward. Government says it is committed to resolving the myriad of challenges facing the Legal Aid Commission to enable it effectively assist the vulnerable in society with legal services. The Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Godfrey Yebu Adami says, the government will present 14 vehicles to the Commission next week to augment its fleet of cars for effective service delivery. Mr. Damon disclosed the vehicle's donation on Wednesday when he paid a working visit to the Legal Aid Commission and the Council on Law reporting in Accra. During the visit, he gave assurances that the government will also start the construction of a new office complex from next year to resolve the issues of lack of office space for the Commission. Their staff strength is very, very low. The building in which they operate in dilapidation, virtually. So the part of the process is to ensure that we have a modern attained grass office and fit for purpose. It's what I have undertaken to do to ensure that we complete um, the facilities that are at our disposal. We have this law house there, which has been under construction for the past 80 years. As is a came, we committed ourselves to its completion and we have progressed so tremendously. The consultant like ASL assures me that the law house will be completed by the end of this year. The Ghana Tertiary Education Commission is appealing to the University Tertiary Association of Ghana to go back to the lecture halls while their leaders return to the negotiation table. The commission says there is no way Utah can get their problem resolved unless they return to the negotiation table. The Director General of the Commission, Professor Mohamed Salifu, in an interview said that the COVID-19 disease has already disrupted the academic year. He therefore urged the teachers not to make matters worse. UTAG members have since Monday, January 10, 2022, withdrawn teaching and related activities to back home their demands for improved working conditions. They also hold governments being their employer guilty of failing to address the plight of UTAG members within their agreed timelines. The chief of Bipo near Bogosu in the western region, Nanata Brembi II, has challenged the police service to provide evidence to prove that a police escort accompanied the tragic truck that exploded and killed many at Apiache. Nana Brembi, apparently unamused by the police claims, vowed that there was no escort to the truck that exploded and killed many and injured many more at Apiate. He called on the public to dismiss the police story or they should bring the said escorts for questioning. Uh, 
na police escort ADNU. Anya no bre, me kenipi, se anya no bre. Apia ti kwa ni ti na hayara, ena pa sa ha eskwisi kano, oba. As the GC a hayara, omu ina enijia. It is a big grand chain, no kase, police escort ADNU ma, na anya no bre. Se anya no bre, sa ha police escort na, na otike ni mwa na se, Odi exclusive nani? Ebezo se o challengea o mepina na yezo yemisa na sam. Officials from the Kole Klote Municipal Assembly on Wednesday piloted the Operation Clean Your Frontage exercise in the municipality. The exercise is aimed at educating constituents about sanitation bylaws and the enforcement of the initiative effective February one. The areas piloted include the Kwame Nkrumah Interchange. Kwame Nkrumah Avenue and the Accra CMB. Speaking to Graphic Online during the exercise, the Head of Works Department at the Assembly, Mr. Isaac Lamte said the Operation Clean Your Frontage exercise is an integrated approach which does not look at sanitation only but also any obstructions on the road. The road reservation stands one for future road expansion work. Now the second one has to do with the utilities where electricity, water, telephone lines are passed or run. And so, and then the third one is the pedestrian walkway. Now, these three functions demands necessarily that there shouldn't be any obstruction at all, either by hawking, trading, uh, using tables, using structures, whether wooden kiosks, whether containers, metal containers, or permanent structures. We are also looking at unauthorized placement of billboards, signboards, uh, hoisting of banners, and then also uh, pasting of, uh, of posters at unauthorized locations that face the, the, the municipality. The municipal chief executive of the assembly, Mr. Samuel Ajay Teria, says. Although the exercise is to educate the constituents, 77 offenders, including traders and business owners, were summoned for failing to clean their surroundings. For those that do not want to do, be able to let them know that they need to find new places, places designated for selling the market, etc., so that they can sell from. But henceforth, they will not be allowed to uh, put containers on the streets and sell. This is just a pilot for today. We are testing the ground. We, we, we come out there, we bought ourselves a lane and track just for this purpose, brand new one. We bought ourselves, we got your um, reflectors, uh, we brought more stuff on board. And every Wednesday is the main day for us in Kuala to do that. But every day, the, the team from the works department and the mail department is here on the ground. News in Brief was brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching today's edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH. I'm Amaya Echa Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.